All right, guys, end of the year. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. It has been a great year, Junk and Bull Industry. A lot of people have kind of joined the ranks. Thank you all the new guys. Thank you all the uh, old guys. Thank you everybody that's watched and helped us grow. Gone from 50 people this year, I would say a little over 200 subscribers. That's awesome. You know, hopefully by the end of, uh, well, you know what, you'll just hear all that in the rest of this video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update, end of the year review, and kind of overcoming things when mistakes happen. Really appreciate you guys. Crazy, end of the year already, 2020. Coming to an end, 2021 here tomorrow so that's that guys i appreciate you watching hit that uh subscribe button below get notified for upcoming videos in 2021 hit that thumbs up button i appreciate it if all of you guys are you right now are you watching just hit the thumbs up button real quick even if you're thinking about hitting the thumbs down button why why do that come on you already made it this far you're almost a minute into the video just hit that thumbs up button you must be curious about junk removal one way or another are you a junk removal business um are you starting a junk removal business or are you just a customer or are you just curious? All right, guys, keep following along. Hit that thumbs up button and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. <sighs> the rest of the video at the end for just some things that I've learned this year and a couple of tools of the trade that I've been using and picked up to make things a little bit easier. All right, guys, enjoy. Hey, almost a new year, end of 2020. Happy Halloween, guys. Thank you, everybody, who has hit that subscribe button and gave us a thumbs up. Thank you for it getting notified to the page. That way you guys are um, getting knowing, notified and knowing when we are updating and uploading new videos. Hopefully you're checking out the other videos, checking out the other truck removal channels that have helped everybody grow along the way. Um, really wanted to quick get another video out there for you guys before the new year. We've been busy the last couple days doing some clean outs, boxes, um, wrapping paper, trash bags, all that good end of the year debris. Hopefully you guys have been busy as well in your neck of the woods. One thing I want to talk about was uh, things happen. Oops, just like yeah, pointing at the uh, pointing at the camera there to point at the wall. Things happen. So, all right, guys, things are gonna happen. You're gonna end up missing straps. You're gonna go to the wrong appointment when you should have been at the other one. You're gonna show up early. You show up late. Um, you're gonna misjudge the pile. You think that it's a half trailer load ends up being a three uh, three quarters or full full trailer. And uh, you go, crap, why did I do this? I think it was going to take 20 minutes. ends up taking you two hours. But you thought the landfill fee was going to be 60 bucks. ends up being 180 Oops. Um, so, you know what? Things happen. Um, you're going to show up to people's houses. You're going to give them a quote. You're going to get the job done. And they're going to be kind of frustrated that you got the job done faster than they expected. They thought for 400 bucks you were going to be there for two or three hours. And you were done in 30, 20 minutes. Just part of it, guys. Um, sometimes you got to go above and beyond for people. Sometimes when you're carrying stuff through people's house or just outside and say a box slips and or a couch slips and you hit the drywall. You have to go above and beyond as a company and go, hey, you know what, we're sorry that this happened. Besides the drywall, hopefully you were pleased with the service, how quickly you were able to show up, remove the items, get them out of your home. As far as the drywall and the damage there, we got somebody on the way, another professional, reputable local company that can get that fixed and get it done for you. No charge to you guys at all. That's completely on us. And, uh, you know, hopefully you guys will leave us a review and you're satisfied with the trunk removal work that we did. Situations like that, you obviously don't want to pay some guy to come out there and fix the drywall, but they don't want to have somebody fix the drywall either. And it just, it was an accident. You, that's just your chance instead of going, Oh, well, how do we know that wasn't there beforehand or it's not that big of a deal or you should expect some damage when you have people moving things out of your house. Just say, okay, oops, yep, yeah, that's, you know, I very much apologize. We're going to get that taken care of for you immediately. Honestly, most of the time the customers are going to say, no big deal, guys. But if you do get that one person, hopefully you've been saving some money aside and you can just take care of that. You know what I mean? A little bit of money, get the drywall fixed and be on your way. I've never had a situation where I've had to have somebody come clean up somebody's drywall. But... Things do happen, okay? You might run into somebody's car, backing up a trailer. You might um, run over some gutters, um, chip a door frame um, when you're carrying out a refrigerator or freezer. Things are gonna happen. Okay, guys, you always wanna try to do your due diligence. You wanna try to take your um, shoes off if they're muddy. You wanna try to um, put your fingers kind of on the sides of stuff when you're going around hallways and things. That way, if you do bump into something, you just kinda, you rough up your your hand or you hit your gloves instead of that item hitting the wall and scraping the wall. It's kind of like a little bumper. Um, 
just doing your due diligence to make sure that you're taking your time, your patience, really looking at stuff. How how can we go through this angle? Would it be easier to take the time to take this apart and then carry this in two or three pieces instead of one big piece roughing it? So guys, things are gonna happen. 2021 is coming. Hopefully you guys are planning out the rest of uh, you know the, the whole year, you know, the beginning of it and the, uh, the ending to this year. Have you guys went over your books? Have you guys gone over your advertising? Have you guys um, gone over um, any mistakes and um, learning experiences you might want to try to avoid next year? Maybe you're looking back and going, dang, I worked a lot and I'd like to spend some time with the family or I don't like doing junk removal. I want to do a different business. Maybe I like landscaping or um, freaking doing insurance or I like designing websites and doing videos for people in junk removal. It's your life. You know what I mean? Don't stick with something just because the money is good. Don't stick with something because you see other people are doing it and you don't necessarily like it. Do something that you really love to do that when you wake up, you're excited about doing it. All right, guys? Are you excited about getting in your truck and picking stuff up? Or are you more excited about getting that out of there and talking to somebody and reeling them in? Or are you more excited about the driving part or maybe the actually working out and picking stuff up and seeing different things every day and seeing the cool antiques and stuff people have, meeting new people. Maybe you're uh, a people person. Maybe you're a computer geek. Maybe you're good at you know, getting on the phone and doing stuff. Find your niche. All right, guys. Um, of course, you know, bills gotta be paid. Everybody's gotta do something. Um, if you need to pay your bills, you could definitely do so with junk removal. You can do so with any job. You can work at nights and during the day. You can write your book. You can read your, uh, you can write your book. You can listen to your music. You can code your, uh, your games or your software or vice versa. You can work during the day and at night you can do what you want to do and create those dreams. All right, guys, 24 hours in a day. I'm sure we've all heard that jazz, but honestly, that's the truth. It's really up to you. It's not, it doesn't stop when you're off the truck. You got to keep up with it, guys. And uh, 2021, it's right there. It's tomorrow. What do you guys want to do? You guys want to have one, two, three, four, five, six trucks? You want to have trailers? You want to have dumpsters? You wanting to um, have a Facebook page, Google page up? You guys want to network with other people and businesses in your area? Wondering what you guys are thinking? Comment below. All right. As always, hit that thumbs up button. Hope you guys have a great year in 2021. Hope you keep following along with us, checking out the other videos. Of course, Sonoma Strong, Junk Guys DFW, um, CU Scrapping, JRA, Let It Go Junk Removal. All right, sorry about that. Got a quick phone call. Business, it happens quick, just like life. So anyways, guys, hopefully you were checking out uh, the other videos. Hopefully you're checking out Sonoma Strong Hauling, Let It Go Junk Removal, Stream Junk, AJ's Removal Service, JRA, Junk Removal Authority. You have, um, uh, geez, I want to hit a few others that I'm missing. Um, CU Scrapping, uh, Supreme Empire, I do want to say, or Junk Removal, uh, Junk Removal University, maybe. As always, JF Hauling, Junk Removal LLC. 2020 has been an interesting year. I think we've picked up a little bit of business for Junk Removal. I think a lot of other Junk Removal companies have joined on as well. I appreciate everybody subscribed and we've gotten our subscribers over 200. Uh, hopefully we'll end out um, 2020 with the, or 2021 with over a thousand subscribers. That'd be awesome. So if you guys keep sharing, following along, smashing that like button, sharing with your friends, family, coworkers, you know, whoever. Always gonna try to keep uploading new stuff, keep you guys entertained, try to answer your questions, try to give you guys some general advice and tips. 2021 is going to be an interesting year. I look forward to growing. I look forward to doing the reselling, the recycling. I look forward to doing other ventures, growing Charles and Sean, um, reading more things, doing cryptocurrency, learning about blockchain, businesses in a whole, how to grow the business, how to you know research your customer, how to get your return on investment, and how to really um, stay strong for the future and the years to come and grow a, grow a big business and a brand. Just have a good life and be comfortable and be excited every day to wake up and go do stuff. All right, guys, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I really enjoyed taking care of my family. I really enjoyed um, sharing the knowledge of things that I've learned. It's been nerve wracking along the way, you know, getting out of my comfort zone, meeting people, getting on here, getting a YouTube channel put up, learning all this stuff that I had no idea about, going from just a Lincoln Continental car 
they like having a trailer. They're working our way up to the truck shop and getting there. So here we are now, guys. End of 2020. All right. Happy New Year. Check up on the other videos. We have stuff about posting ads, um, <coughs> creating your first post, setting your prices, tearing down trampolines, picking up uh, hot tubs and motorcycles, tearing down sheds, talking to junk guys DFW, talking to extreme junk, clearing out the garages, basements, whole houses, three day jobs. Check everything out. All right guys, once again, really appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, catch up on the other stuff. Happy New Year's, I'll be uploading some new stuff. Relatively quick. So that's awesome. Thank you guys. 2020 has ended. And uh, 2021, let it begin. All right guys, so a couple things that we picked up this year to help us better our uh, business and stand out a little bit. Been the uh, Tap Talk business cards. You can just scan them to the phone or the person can read the QR code. It just takes them right to your business profile, your before and after pictures, your website, whatever, really. Speaking of website, software, things to use, Docket has been working great for us as far as scheduling our jobs, our bids, knowing where the guys are at, where the truck is at. Charles can just check on his Docket app every morning and see what jobs we got, where they're going to be at, and a little description, whatever I was able to post. Docket, Square. Honestly, we're going to make sure that we try to get as many pickups before we went to the landfill as possible and to resell, redonate, recycle, and try to keep things out of the landfill. Not only are you guaranteeing a promise to your customers that you're trying to be earth friendly, but you're gonna save some money and that's gonna save you and the customer money in the long run. You're gonna be able to put that back in your pocket, back along with the business, spread it out through the community, and hopefully, you know, do some good. You started the business to make a profit, do some good, and get some things done. So, that's what we're here to do. Drug removal channel, Sonoma Strong, JRA, Drunk Guys DFW, Extreme Drunk, we're all here to help show you drug removal how it can be done and then you guys just go do it your way and there's different variations for everything all right there's all kinds of things going on in this world you do it your way you're going to be unique check out tap talk business cards check out docket check out square for accepting payments um credit cards invoices all kinds of stuff um look into gary v look into tony robbins Look into people to help motivate and influence your life and get you on a better um, train of thought. Look into cryptocurrencies. The next couple of years is going to be a big thing. And uh, just enjoy life and uh, set your goals. Well, that's that, guys. End of the year, end of the video. 2020 has officially ended. Last video of the year. Really appreciate everybody has made it this far. Hit that subscribe button below. Give us a quick thumbs up. Really appreciate it. That's that. Hope you enjoyed the content. It's not ending just because it's the end of 2020, guys. Guess what? Tomorrow I'm probably going to upload another video. So hit that subscribe button. That's that. 2020 is a wrap. It's done. Hopefully you guys are happy that it's over with. Hopefully you achieved your goals. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Have a good day. Don't get too crazy.